right, y'all. Welcome to my madness. It's the next day. We're going to tear into this thing. We're going to get it done, and we're going to have some fun. Yeah. Stay tuned, baby. It's on. Well, y'all, with all that jokery and fuckery off the side, here's where we're at. We're bare bones. I'm getting ready to tear out a differential. Check the rear diff. We're going to go over and let's get the soldering on some ends. We're going to put in a transmission. We're going to put in a motor. We're going to put in an ESC. We're going to put in a servo. We're going to put in a receiver. We're going to put in some battery trays. We're going to lock tight it all up. We're going to put on some paddles in the back, some green ones, some blue tires in the front. We got green and blue zip ties because it's got a match or it won't be fast. And we got shrink shrink tubing velcro i mean car don't go fast without velcro you heard about it, you heard it here first black sheep rc gotta have velcro go fast gotta have velcro do big jumps gotta have max fours to get big power no i'm just kidding you don't need that all that but it is amazing i just i just shot myself kenny lee did you hear that <laughs> gee many christmas what happened huh what happened I said I what? wasn't recording this part, but I cannot stress this enough. When you pull a bolt out of something, put it back in it until you're putting it back together. So you know where it goes and you're not messing everything up. Save yourself a headache. Just listen to me. I'm not right about everything. I'm far from a genius. I'm far from a know all Do yourself a favor. Put the bolts in. Just, just, yeah. Real quick, guys, when you pull the differential off, I will say this. I remember I upgraded these on my low C Tenacity. These was plastic on it, and it's designed just like the low C Tenacity is. That it's the Instead of the ring gear facing the other way around like it is on every other vehicle, it's, it's uh, backwards just like the low C Tenacity. And I upgraded mine from plastic to these metal shims on my... Just, just putting that out there. But, guys, it was simple. Pulled the back bumper off, loosened the four bolts on the bottom, pulled out your other two because the top bottom two screws when you pulled the hinge pin off you pull the top two screws and as soon as you loosen the bottom four bolts you can literally push on the bottom of the case right here bow and it popped the whole case out so easy peasy lemon squeezy let's see what's inside this thing all right guys same deal same drill as the center and front these cars are set up for gas motors so this let me see if i can show you this in here the differentials are not they're set they're thin fluid guys look at that see that fluid about to pour out of there it's thin yeah see that it's set up for gas-powered engines, though, guys. But look at these beefy gears and stuff in here. I'm gonna, I left a little tiny bit of that fluid in there, and I put 250 in the front. I put 250 in the center, but I'm gonna thicken that up to an ear plug or close to it, and I'm gonna put 250 in the rear, but I left a little bit of the thinner stuff in there to thin it out a little bit in the rear. So we're going about 200 in the rear, 250 in the front, and about a million in the center. See what happens. I don't know if y'all can see in there. Their gears are greased in there. So the differentials was full, and they are greased. They just had thin fluid in there, and the grease is fine. So we're going to leave that alone. All right, you guys. This is what I come up with on the bottom of my ESC. I got double-sided sticky tape, two layers of it, thick double-sided sticky, sticky tape with that. But I got two layers thick of it, and I'm also going to stick a foam pad to the bottom of this right here now before I screw it down. If I got long enough screws now, because, hell, I cut my screws down now without thinking about adding any of my stuff here. So, might have to go find new screws, but that's why I'm doing it, guys. I'll show you the finished product in a second once I get it mounted to the mount and in the car. And, guys, just so you all know, this is just how I do things. Uh, you can do it however you want. I mean, you can think I'm wrong. You can think I'm right. It doesn't matter, guys. Um, I'm a firm believer of how few people say there's no right way. However you want to do it, however you want to build your own car, it's how you do it. But we're underway. Differential's done. It's back in. Easy, guys. Once you pull this off, it's just like an Arma. Other than the only thing, the difference is it's like a, a, a actual low C tenacity or anything. It's got the little locking grooves in the bottom of the thing. But yeah, other than that, guys, it's a piece of cake to work on so far. So I'm going to go grab me a foam pad. I'm going to slap that in there. We'll be right back. All right, you guys, I got my homemade mount mounted in. First reason being, guys, I made it out of this. It was all connected to one piece. I cut the center servo section out for the uh steering linkage servo because i wanted to just have my steering servo up here without having to buy all new aluminum i wanted to try to i'm gonna try to go cheaper on this one guys without doing all of it and then this i just cut out the sides on both sides and this was the battery tray for your electronics but sunk it down in put me some sticky stuff underneath and ran some screw made me a template ran some screws underneath and this is the battery tray for your other one guys yeah and if I ever decide to go back to a gas, it's $20 you can buy a new one. So no big deal there. Next, I'm going to slap this in and uh, get it all locked, tied it up. And this thing's a work of art. You see it's got the key right here. Oh, right here on the bottom. Sorry, I'm trying to record one-handed here. It's got the key tab right here. They slide down these grooves. It's got them on both pieces. And it's amazing. It, 
I mean, you can't ask for better quality than this right here. It's, it is nice, nice, nice machining. I know I can't do this one-handed. Maybe I can. Maybe I'll just switch to my right hand since I'm right-handed. I'd probably be doing it a little better. Pick it up a little bit. There we go. And you're going to slide that key right here and shut lock in place. That's going to be it. And you're going to go from underneath, obviously. Slap the lock tight. Hold on. I'm going to beat a kid's ass real quick. Real, just give me one. Just, just, just one second. All right. We're back from ah, 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 in the background there. Cold crazy main deck in there. Whatever the world was going on in there. I'm not even real sure. But, yeah. I'm going to lock tight these bolt in, guys. And we'll go on to the next step. We'll see where we go from there. Yeah. She looking good. Oh, it's going to be bad, y'all. All right, guys. So I went ahead and got this in. And I didn't lock tight any, everything in uh, yet. I decided I'm going to wait clear till the end to make sure I got everything exactly the way I want it and where I want it. But we got the center brace in, or the center differential housing in. We got the ESC mounted in. We got the back. This this goes on the back of the motor, obviously. It keys in these holes back here. You can move it any of these, well, any of these holes you want, honestly, for any any size motor. You adjust the adjustment here. You can slide it back and forth. So when you adjust your motor mesh up here, you can obviously move. I got it tight down. Huh? So obviously, move your motor mesh. You move this back and forth to align it with your motor. And... Pop it out, you can put the big 70 millimeter in there, and this is for your 1100 and your 800 kV, your castles, or anything else. So, there it is, guys. We're moving right along. Next, I'm going to throw in my servo, I do believe, and then we're going to throw the receiver in here, and we're going to go rip the motor out of the other truck, I think, because we're just going to put the 800 in here for now. Yeah, look at that smoothness, boys and girls. But we're going to get everything locked up, buttoned up. We got to get some soldering done. I got to put my anti spark connectors on here and all my batteries. I, I just got, we got a lot to do yet, guys. That's why I'm not recording the whole thing. I'm trying to bring you step by step. If there's any questions that you, I know the one gentleman said this helps him out tremendously. If there's anything I can help you with, man, feel, don't even hesitate to ask. That goes without saying to any of you guys, hopefully. Uh, if you guys got any questions regarding anything to do with any of this stuff right here with me, just feel free to ask, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to help any of you. Like, it doesn't matter. Any question, anytime, I'm, I'm, I'm willing. And uh, if I can help you, I will help you. Look at the, look at the kick over on this front, front dry shaft. Wow, that baby kicks right over, doesn't it? Man, we all killed you. Look at that, though. That front diff was uh, locked up, too, guys. Look at it spinning now freely. Oh, it's still got one little spot right there. I just felt it. Look at that. She's spinning good. All right, I'm going to get to putting the mortars back together. I've got soldering to do. i got all kinds of stuff to do, so it's going to take a minute. But we're going to get there today, and I think we're going to have us out. If it ain't out today, it's going. it should be ready to go out today. And we'll take it out tomorrow, but let, let me get back at it. Yeah, yeah. Again, guys, sorry for the rush video. Jack Servo is in. Um, you see, it's the orange one, yellow one, some down in there. If I can see it again, um, yeah, I can't get to it, guys. You can see a little corner right there. It's the same one. It's in my Outcast 8S, but I didn't realize they had two different ones. This one is the uh, 60 kg. The other one, high voltage kg, this one only goes to 7.4 volts. The one that's in my outcast is actually the 72 kg, and it goes clear to 8.4 volts. This is going to be perfectly fine on this, but I will say this. The other one's been in my other truck, truck since before, or since last Christmas, and you've seen how much I've wrecked that outcast 8S on 12S. I beat that thing to death, slammed the front wheels, and that is the servo that is in that truck. So we're going to, we're going to see how this one holds up. I have heard people say GX servos are not as strong as they have been, so... We're going to find out right here. There's the number, guys, if y'all are interested, though. The other one just says 7.2. The other, the, the other one, it's uh, $42 or $44. So, I mean, and the speed, I think, was the same. I, I don't know what's really different, honestly, besides 7.4 volts and 8.4 volts. So, yeah, let's go. I'm going to get it slapped a more in here, guys. I just realized, too, this is not waterproof at all. So I'm going to have to shoot. Anybody got an idea what would be good to shoot in here, actually, that I can still be able to get my wires out after I need them out? Because I'm going to put my receiver in here, and I'd like to seal this off and put a seal around the top so it can actually seal off. So if anybody knows what the waterproofer stuff is or what to seal it off with, please let me know down in the comments. What y'all think, man? What y'all think? How's she coming, y'all? What, what do you think? Let's get that back at it. I'll be back. One step closer, y'all. You know me, Fly Sky GT5. I love that thing. So here we go. One step closer. Almost time to start soldering up some wires and connections, and we're going to get that by ourselves. All right, you guys, so the soldering begins. I'm putting these anti-sparks on my ESC, and I might put it on the connector in between there. I don't know yet. Two of them is going to be just fine, but we'll see. I done desoldered the ends, and I'm getting ready to solder these new ones on, so we'll be back. I'll show you how clean she is. If it is, we'll see. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it ain't.
All right, y'all, she's coming together. I just gotta get battery trays mounted in so I can get the batteries in there, and I gotta get the motor, uh, decide whether I'm gonna buy another motor or pull it out of the other one and put the 1100 in the other one. But just like I said too, guys, check this out. I got my connectors here, and this is how I wired them. These two go together, positive, positive. These two that are fat go together off the positive off this battery. So this battery's positive goes together, this battery's negative goes together, and then this positive and negative off this battery goes together. No big bulky wires, no, it's literally boom, 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 boom. It's clean, nice, it's gonna be beautiful. But that's what we're doing. She's almost there, y'all. Slap a motor in there, mount them battery trays, get the Velcro cut and on the battery, on the straps and the batteries. And uh, yeah, she's in there, guys. Servo's in, I set, I set the servo, adjusted a little bit to where I got them about as straight as I thought they needed was. Uh, Let's see, we got this in here. I gotta put the power switch back in here to kind of block off the waterproof it because that's the other part of it. I gotta get my antenna on here. Uh, other than that, I'm just buttoning things up, guys. I'm gonna run back through it, pull every screw out. Before I take it outside, I'm gonna pull every screw out, lock tight it, put it back in. I probably actually won't run it till tomorrow. So yeah, you guys might get a video of me finishing it off tonight and then the run video tomorrow. We'll see what happens. I might take it down the road for you one time. See what she, see what she, it's like. I don't even know what gears I got left. I'm hoping I got at least a 30 so I can run a 30 and whatever this stock gear is. And I know I got a 25, so if not, we're going to run 25 and whatever this is. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be ripping her real soon, y'all. She's coming together. I'm super excited. Look at this thing. Ooh-wee. These things are massive, too, guys. Like, whenever somebody gets one of these in the giveaway, I'm like, these batteries, my goodness. Gracious, they're massive. All right, y'all. I'm going to go get something to eat, and we will resume. Just a quick teaser. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Well, y'all, it is official. She is done, all except for I got to get my battery trays figured out and mounted in here. But motor's in, fans are in, ESC's in, all the wire servos, everything's wired up. I even got my fans wired up to the original switch that was in it. You can flip this on or off, turn the fans on and off. They are running off the receiver right now just because I don't want another battery in here. Uh, 800 kV hobby wing, 12S capable on max four, 9,500 milliamp CNHL lipos, a uh, bit of on center differential housing and motor mount, um, J JX servo, uh, Roven uh, paddles on the back, stock tires on the front. I'm probably gonna put all four paddles on it just because these paddles are way lighter than the stock tires and the front end feels real heavy. So. There it is, y'all. Next video you see, this thing will be ripping. I promise you. I'm sorry it took so long. And hopefully the video helped you all out along the way. I hope you enjoyed it. And this thing is going to be amazing. Let's go.